Welcome. I absolutely love interiors, whether it's my own elegantly knackered style or a more modern version or anything really, I just love interiors. So today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you to look at someone else's interior. A little different than all the rest A quite old fashion where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame than half an hour away from my own home my friend owns a little holiday cottage and it's so nice and beautifully decorated so today I thought that I'd come and show you around it is the most beautiful sunny day today even though it's the first of February so here we are the nook let's take a look inside we go straight into the kitchen or kitchenette so nice with the sun streaming through. So my friends Joe and Damien have stayed in many beautiful holiday cottages themselves and they know what to expect. So I've carefully curated beautiful crockery and also a few essentials to use in the kitchen. And they've really pulled the look together perfectly. I can just imagine turning up and really not wanting to leave. Well, it certainly looks well equipped. There's green tea. Norfolk tea. Well, that's a nice welcome. Some the uncommon rose wine spritzer. Some chocolates. Grind coffee too. Even this cute little dog bowl and some dog treats too. It's small but perfectly formed. Love the open shelves. Let's look in here, this looks very handy. Welcome to the Nook, Norfolk. Just a guide of all the things to do here. Oh, how to use the cottage, other stuff how to use all the equipment. Gosh, this is very thorough. I wouldn't expect anything less from my friend. Oh, now this is the old store, which is a local cafe. And when my friend is in the area, we love meeting up here. It's the best cafe in Norfolk, I'm sure. And lots of health and safety as well. well. I'd certainly feel safe if I was staying here. I love that reminder to duck. Norfolk cottages can have very low ceilings. So now we're moving into the living space. You can see how absolutely delightful it is. I love the colour palette. It really does sing Norfolk countryside. Now, Joe told me to strike a match and light the fire the minute I came in. It was all set up and ready to go. And it really is emanating the most wonderful warmness. I know I'm here to show you around, but I really could just sit down now and enjoy the cosy and comfortable feeling that the Nook has to offer. Jo really has mastered this. Everywhere you look, there's texture, there's vintage or antiques. It's all very comfy and cosy. It's so well curated and just so well thought through. She really wants her guests to have a really comfortable, luxurious day. Oh, I love this today. There's windows in the front and in the back and the sun and light is just streaming through. It's beautiful. I know how much fun Jo had pulling all this together and it's so thoughtful, so beautifully curated. I love the textures. I love the unusual pieces that are here. The artwork, the rugs, everything. It's just all perfect. I can really imagine myself just sitting in that chair next to the fire with a glass of wine, reading a book. Heaven. I 
That's not a bad view, is it? Oh, it's perfect today. Beautiful winter sun. I love that. Even the pen is personalised. Let's see what the guests say. The perfect escape for a few days. Delightful. Comfortable. Yes, I definitely think the guests were very happy. Such a lovely stay. Joe's even left a compendium of things to do in Norfolk. That's a beautiful book, very nice. And there's a games cupboard, some magazines too. Everything you could possibly need for a lovely weekend stay or even a week. So now let's head into the bathroom, which is also on the ground floor. Small, but perfectly formed. Now I can tell you that the wallpaper is actually original 1970s bamboo Japanese wallpaper. It's amazing. Okay, let's head upstairs to the bedroom. This is just a one bedroom cottage, so perfect for a romantic retreat. And here we are, another very cosy room. So this is an antique Victorian bed frame, but then Joe has had the base and the mattress made specifically to fit the bed. So it's very, very comfortable. And this wallpaper mural is quite spectacular. I could just imagine sitting in bed and looking at that, drinking my tea. More rugs and more texture. I just love how Joe layers rugs upon rugs. It just creates that really homely feel. And again, with a window at the front and a window at the back, you've just got pockets of light streaming into the bedroom. Here's another chair thoughtfully positioned for just sitting down and chilling or reading. I'm thrilled to see these in use. These were something that I found whilst I was out antique hunting. Time to go back downstairs. As I head back to my car, I couldn't help but spot this beautiful little planter and the log store. And now it's time to go. Another wonderful thing about the beautiful little nook is it's right in the heart of the Norfolk countryside where the skies are blue, the countryside is green, the hedgerows are full of birds and birdsong, there's duck ponds, pigs in the fields and the coast is just a stone's throw away. It really is absolutely beautiful. I really hoped you enjoyed that little cottage tour. Isn't it the cutest cottage? Anyway, I'd love to know what you think of my content. Do you want to see more cottage tours? What do you want me to show you? We will be picking up the renovation very soon, so there'll be more renovation content again. But please do tell me what you'd like to see. And if you are enjoying my content, please feel free to buy me a coffee. The details are in the description with a link to the Buy Me A Coffee website. So thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.